brand new to photo gear. Today we are unboxing the brand new Tilta Nucleus M. Let's get straight to it. Out of the box, the entire system comes in a really nice secure hard case. <laughs> Pop open the locks and you'll find, oh, paperwork. But get rid of that and you'll find the full kit. Starting with the lanyard, that'll come in handy in a bit. Next up we have the Fizz Hand Unit, or Focus Iris and Zoom Controller. They're not one, but two wireless hand grips. Now the kit comes with two control motors, but you can purchase an optional third motor to give you even more control. The Nucleus M uses the universal 18650 battery that you will find in most accessories like gimbals, so you know you're going to get some hefty battery life. In the box you'll also receive two ARRI locating pin to ARRI rosette adapters, and those are for the handles. Then they've also included two ARRI locating pin to 30mm rod clamps. They also threw in a couple of extra focus dials and a few gear rings just for good measure. On the top side we've got a four bank battery charger with the other two batteries for a total of six. Then of course we can't forget the cable. Now the Tilta Nucleus M motors use seven pin Limo cables for power and you get two cables of a short and medium length. Only one power port on your camera rig needs to be used, simply plug in the PTAP power cable into one of the motors then daisy chain power to the rest of the motors with the short 7 pin to 7 pin cables. Well, then of course there is the power cable for the charger. The motors are designed to clamp onto 19mm or 15mm rods. This clamp on design also allows you to easily attach and detach the motors without needing to remove any of the accessories from your setup. Pretty cool! Here's the daisy chaining that I spoke about before. Then plug the P-tap to 7 pin cable into the first motor, the other end into a P-tap port like the one on the SWIT 130 watt V-lock battery. Uh, yeah, um, the right way please, thanks, lol. As for the hand unit, there's a little button on the bottom to release the battery hatch. Pop in a couple of batteries, then remember that lanyard I said would come in handy? Well, here's where you put that thing. This took me a while to figure out, mainly because I didn't read the instructions, but anyway, this is a power button. <laughs> Next up, press the power button on one of the motors, and because they're daisied, it will turn them all on. Ooh. Now let's have some fun pulling focus. Mm. A bit of rack folks for you there. Gorgeous. Superb. Anyway, my name's Dave, and you've been watching Photo Gear, the place where you can find all your camera needs. 